Hi everyone, welcome to Chasing Donnie Baseball. We have another break tonight, vintage break. This is our 1981 Topps Wax Box. This is an authenticated box, authenticated by the Baseball Card Exchange. Um, let's check the back here. This is the authentication label that they stick on here, showing that the 1981 year wax box, and it's been authenticated by the Baseball Card Exchange, meaning this, this box has never been opened or tampered with in any way. Uh, so that is what we have going for us. We have a, this was a pick your pack uh, box break. So here are the team owners, or I shouldn't say team owners, pack owners tonight. Uh, Terry, as you can see, your name got jumped over there on the XL program. Not sure why that happened, but four and five. And go up the list here. You can always go back and look at this. But just showing that we have everybody on the list that purchased one or more teams. Some of you purchased multiple. And there we go. Thank you very much, everybody, that did buy in. Thank you for watching. If you're just watching to uh, see what gets broke tonight. Broke? That, I guess that's the way you would say it. Uh, any hits that we get tonight on the uh, the 81 Tops Wax. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this open, and then I'll explain uh, uh, how we do things around here. I have a team. Let me, get, let me show this first before I... Where is it? Okay, here it is. I have a team bag for everybody. So as soon as uh, I'm done with the pack, I'm going to put everything in a team bag. I have a few one touches, some plastics, top loaders, etc., sleeves that we'll be using uh, for the, you know the bigger hits, if you will, um, Hall of Famers, um, of course, rookie cards. We are looking for a uh, few few good rookie cards in this one. We have, of course, uh, Tim Raines. Uh, future star card is in this one. Tim Raines, newly inducted to the Hall of Fame. This is his rookie card, uh, so we'll be looking for that. Kirk Gibson, uh, legendary Tiger player uh, and Dodger, is in this set for a rookie. We have Fernando Venezuela uh, from the Dodgers. This was a huge card back in 1981. Fernando Venezuela came up. It was called Fernando Mania, is what they called it in baseball. Uh, with the Dodgers, he was a rookie. He was really lights out. He's kind of a phenom that took the baseball world by storm, took the collecting hobby by storm. Everybody wanted that card back in 1981, so uh, we'll be looking for that. And of course, we have Harold Baines, Julian Duckett Hall of Fame member. This is his rookie year, 1981, so we'll be looking for his White Sox rookie. Um, hold your ears for this rapper. This is quite loud. Probably do one shot. Yeah. So, sorry about that. Okay, won't have to deal with that anymore. Apologize for that sound. It was very loud. Um, and then we're looking, of course, for really big Hall of Famers in here. Nolan Ryan, 81 card. Looking for Ricky Henderson, second year card. That's a really valuable card. Um, when graded. And let me get the chart here to show how we do things. All right, so the way I do things is I do, you can see here, one, two, three, four. So that's the way we're gonna do the rows. There's four rows. You see that? I don't know if you can see that or not. You can see it there, right? One, two, three, four. So that's how we do things. So the top left will be row one. And for me, these boxes are packed. So if you are someone that is gonna get upset for me ripping boxes old boxes then you're gonna have to look away because I don't I have some of these vintage boxes but when I do the breaks the only way to speed things up I say that now and things are going so slow but I have to rip these boxes else I'll never get these packs out as you can see here it'd be much easier for me to just slide out the first row so that's what I'm gonna do so rip this over here uh, here we go perfect see you have to worry about dropping cards or anything. So there we go. Let me just close this up as best I can. Get back into that in a minute. Well, you know, maybe I'll leave. No, nah, well, I'll put it over here. Uh, where should I put it, guys? I'm running out of room on my break table. Should have 
and put it up up on <laughs> uh, nothing's too easy there we go okay let me get this out of the way put it in the back there we go okay so here's our packs okay and we're gonna go through each pack one at a time I will hold up your team bag so you see what I'm talking about see this is pack one so this will be for David C so David you will be our first pack and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split these packs up here so one, two, three, four, this is the top. So I'll finish these and then I'll move on to the next. This way I can reach them, okay? Plastics will sit. All right, guys, I'm real excited about this one. Like I said, this doesn't have, um, you know, that out of this world rookie card that we're looking for. Like 80 tops would have, you know, Ricky Henderson. Uh, but there are some really valuable cards in this, both monetary and just kind of from a memory standpoint if you're someone around my age or younger uh, generation might really appreciate these older cards um, I'm going to save the wrappers not all of you ask for the wrappers but I'll save them all and then I will give them uh, maybe I'll just pack them away with every pack you can do whatever you want with them okay I'll try not to rip them but I can't promise that I'm not going to send you the gum because it's a little a little tough to send the gum for everything so okay this is uh let's get this started this now had a little gum, looks like a little gum residue in it. So some of these cards might not be in the greatest shape just because they're authenticated, but um, for the most part, they are in really good shape. I'm just, as I'm going through these right now, um, yeah, some of these look like just brand new. I mean, like I said, this pack is never, there you go. First Hall of Famer of the night, Willie Stargell. And it's in really good shape. It's a nice, nice centering job on that, nice color. Cornering is beautiful. Back looks great. Look at those stats. My goodness. Played a long time, Willie Stardell. Great player. Um, and I will be sleeving everything at the end. Like I said, um, I'm not going to stop the break to sleeve everything like I've done in some, some breaks. I realize that takes a long time, so I'm just going to kind of go through these. I'll put them back in the team bags so nothing happens to them. Um, and that's how, we'll, that's how we'll do this break, okay? A tutor. And there's Larry Boa. All right, so I'll put these in the team bags, like I said, seal them up, and then I'll get the, I'll get them to you. And like I said, if we come across a really big name, I will stop, and uh, and I will put them in one touch if it's big enough, big enough card. Okay. So there you go. Pack one is down. We got up pack number two. We're gonna kind of fly through this as fast as we can. What I did is I also took the plastics off the. Um, the team thing so that kind of saves a little time that little plastic thing that helps the pack stick together I mean the uh, pack stick together for Adam R you're up here is pack number two good luck to you Adam Let's see what we got for you tonight here okay looks like the so far the first two packs this is the surface card is a little A little worn, but the pack's really the, the pack's really nice. That's why the gum is all nice and in shape and uh, held together too, which is kind of weird. I'm waiting for the gum to kind of crack apart, but it hasn't yet. All right, let me get this across over here. Sticking. There we go. All right. Like I said, I want to save these packs. I know you guys want them. You're gonna hear the gum probably hit the floor or like the bottom of the garbage pail because I'm not saving the gum. As I mentioned. All right, here we go, Adam. Let's see what we got for you. Oh, this, there we go. There is a Hall of Famer here in a nice pack, and this is in really good shape. That top card was really protecting the second card here. Good for you. That's a beautiful looking card, Carlton Fisk. Craig Swan. Yeah, I was reading, um, this is quite some time ago, but in that Carlton Fisk car with the Red Sox, Gary Carter, another one. And this is his uh, player card, not an all-star card, so it's got a little bit more value to it. Nice looking card, a little up center, but good shape, nice color, nice gloss to it. Corners look great. Um, incredibly, that Carlton Fisk, at least for me, growing up, I mean, he, to me, he's known for, you know, being a Red Sox. 
And I think most people, if they look up Carlton Fisk, you know, the most one of the most iconic videos is him waving that home run over, right, at, at Fenway Park. Um, oh, I saw the rookie car. I thought it was Tim Raines for a minute. Wrong team. Another one, but wrong team. Um, so, yeah, that, you know, that, that picture of him waving the home run, all that. Well, he played and after the Red Sox. He went over to the White Sox. And he's, when he finished his career, he actually played longer for the White Sox than he did the Red Sox. Uh, I found that, like, fascinating because there is no way anybody that's watched baseball or is a baseball fan would ever guess that Carlton Fisk, nor would he be known for um, being a, a White Sox. I mean, I think that's fair to say. I don't mean to offend any White Sox owners out there, but honestly, is there anybody out there that remembers Carlton Fisk as a White Sox? I don't think so. Pack three. It's going to Union HC. That was a good pack over there, Adam R for pack two. Not too bad. Let's see what we got, Nate. Nate is also here a let me get this open here, sorry. Second. Uh he's also a, a Patreon member here of Chasing Donnie Baseball, so thank you very much, Nate, for that. Um if you're uh, interested in asking and finding out what that's all about, Patreon. Joining a Patreon on my Patreon channel, you can see the link below. I won't, I'm not going to explain during the channel here. You can just click on the link, and if it's something you're interested in, then thank you very much. All right, here we go. Sparky Lyle, that's a cool card. Chet Lemon. Bill Lee. Don Money. Jerry Mumphrey. Boy, I remember that card. Bobby Brown. This player card, I guess I should show it maybe once, but you know, I guess I'll include it with all the packs. It's kind of like a scratch off. You win some, some merchandise, player card, and player. Oh, we got a first card here with a definitely not in good shape here. So something happened to that along the way. Um, again, these are <clears throat> when they say authenticated, means that the cards have never been tampered with. These packs have never been opened or anything like that. There's a Mookie Wilson rookie. Ah, it's kind of the lost rookie in this, especially if you're a Met fan. Huey Brooks. This was a pretty hot card back in the day. That's a cool card. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, I was going to say, so, you know, the fact that these are authenticated doesn't mean that, you know, there isn't, you know, maybe in travel from, it came from a warehouse to a store, then from a store somewhere else. So by the time he gets to BBC, that basically just means they can take a look at that box and say, look, it's never been opened. Right, it's never been tampered with, packs have never been opened, and that's extremely important. But you know, sometimes the boxes, the actual wax boxes, are in rough shape because, again, it's traveling from maybe, Lord knows how many times it's traveled around um, since 1981. So you might have a couple cards here and there with a dent in the corner, or like you saw in that team card. So for the most part, though, I think we'll be in good shape. Jonathan H, is your first pack tonight, pack four. Let's get right into it, pack four. All right, let's see if we can get you any rookies that we're looking for or Hall of Famers. Uh, you know, I'd love to see a Ricky Henderson. I'm a big fan of Ricky Henderson card. And his second year card, 81 Tops, is a really great card to own. So, I'd love to see one of those. Maybe we can wish for one of those. All right, Jonathan, let's see what we got for you. Rick Monday, Boy Smalley, Steve Yeager, Ken Wright, Al Oliver. John Curtis, Craig Reynolds, Art Howe, probably you know him as a manager, Chuck Rainey, Jamie McGantner, Baltimore Orioles team card, Terry Kennedy, and there's a uh, runs batted in leader, you got Mike Schmidt on the card there, it's a nice card, really good shape, oh there we go, this is definitely a stopper, gotta stop for this one, and it was the last card of the pack, that's nice Jonathan H, beautiful Nolan Ryan card, Really good shape. A little off center, but it's in uh, beautiful shape. I'm just gonna sleeve that right away here. Um, that's a. This is definitely one of the valuable ones that I want to mess around with. So get that sleeve for you. There we go. Okay, and this is. Uh, let me see here. Looks good there. Nice corners. That gum residue is actually not stuck to it. Before I put it in the uh, pack, it's more or less powder. So 
but you know it is what it is it's 81 card but it's nice that's a nice really nice Donald Ryan card that was one of the cards I hope we got tonight and there's Rick Monday so I guess it's un the only unfortunate part is that the Nolan Ryan card was, you know, was the last card, and that means that was where they put the gum. In 81, Tops put the gum on the back, so that kind of, uh, kind of takes a chance then all these years later that you're going to get a little gum residue on that card. But you could definitely, most of those time, most of the time, unless it's stuck to the paper, which it wasn't, if it wasn't stuck, that gum residue can kind of almost be brushed brushed off lightly with your hand so pack five terry d here you go terry all right let's get into it all right. and by the way we do have our contest after this i haven't forgot about it we're going to be giving away giving away 2019 bowman hobby box for free for free to one of our team owners um and i'm going to do that after the break what I'm going to do is, after the break, I'm going to pause it, set the computer up, and I'll come back and give that away. So someone's going to be, in addition to the pack or packs they're getting tonight, getting sent to them, 2019 Bowman Hobby Box, which is just one of the hottest hobby boxes to have this uh, so far in 2019. Dave Concepcion, there you go, very nice card. Big Red Machine, Alan Trammell, nice card here. There's our game piece. Charlie Lee, New York Mets team card, Harry Spillman, Bear, oh, this is a nice batting leader, this is a nice card, George Brett and Bill Buckner, yeah, that's a nice card, R.I.P., Bill Buckner, as you know, he just passed away, so, um, Bill Buckner was absolutely, just making sure none of these cards stuck together, which they didn't, which is good, um, that's a nice card, by the way, George Brett, Bill Buckner, yeah, well, it's Bill Buckner. I think, unfortunately, most people are going to remember him for that error in the 86 World Series. You know, rightfully so. It was a bad error. Changed, changed the course of that series. Mets came back, of course, won that Game 6, and then just took Game 7. So, um, that's tough. But Bill Buckner is one of the best hitters, uh, in the, you know, in the game. Certainly through the 80s. Uh, 70s and 80s. I think only next to Pete Rose and maybe someone else, but he's either top two or three. Most hits. Most hits. Um, in the 70s and 80s. So that's that's incredible. People definitely... People are surprised when they hear that, I think. Not realizing what a hitter he was. Alrighty, here we go. Oh, who we got here? Sorry, I missed the... Uh... Here we go. This is going to Daniel B., let me get your pack for you. There you go, Daniel. There you be. This is for you. Pack six. Keith Hernandez. There you go. Now, current Mets announcer. Oh, here we go. Phil Necro. That is a nice Hall of Fame card for you. Zachary Edot. Larry Bradford. Lee Aikens. Floyd Bannister. Toby Hara. I remember that card. So much... Any memories remembering these cards? This is where I was a young kid, but I collected 81. Um, so I had a lot of these cards and have them like memorized, really. Some of the stats in the back, I can just. Ooh, that's a cool card. Look at that. Ozzy Smith record breaker. Most assists by a shortstop in a season. Very cool. That's a really nice card for Ozzy Smith and Keith and Anna. So, a couple nice cards in that pack for you, Daniel. It's a good pack. Get that off for you. Oh, I think there's a piece of gum residue on there somewhere. Get that off for you. And there it is. Pack that. Right. Packed it away. Pack six. All right. We're on, uh, almost finished with our first row. Moving on to pack seven, which is Mary M. Mary M. This is your first pack of the night. You have a bunch with us. So this is Granny. I like to call her Granny. She wants to be known as Granny. So, here I am, Granny. This is your pack, pack seven. Let's see if we can get you uh, some rookies or Hall of Famers. Uh, let's see what we got here. Like I said, this is the first of a few few packs tonight. We got four or five packs with us tonight. So, hopefully, there's a good chance of you hitting the, getting a couple of hits with us. Definitely rooting for you. All right. Okay. There's the gum. 
Gum in the garbage. Juan Briquez, Rich Murray. Rod Carew, there you go. Nice Hall of Fame. Nice all-star card. Pretty well centered, but it's nice corners. So, and there's another one. Eddie Murray. And that's a beautiful looking card. Really nice looking card. Well centered. Back looks really nice too, so. It's a nice card, Mary. Too nice. You got Rod Carew and Eddie Murray back to back. Let's see if we have anybody else in here for you. Checklist. Randy Jones. This is uh, Rangers. Nobody really there. Uh, unless you're an you know, all-time Ranger fan. Jerry Dunkley is probably well known. Another checklist card. And that's it. Not bad. Two Hall of Famers in that pack for you, Mary. So that's a nice start for your night. Let's see if we can add on to that later. We got, like I said, a few more packs coming up. All right. Now on to pack number eight. And pack number eight goes to... This is Kide B. Kide B. Let me see if I'm... I'm going to put the name up. You tell me if I'm in the comments when you watch this break. Let me know if I'm saying this correct. Is it Kide B or Kid B? Please let me know. I, I Hopefully you'll be with us for other breaks, but I certainly want to make sure I'm saying it correctly. Uh, this is your pack. Um, I don't like to mispronounce names, so please let me know. But I'm going to call you because I think you have another pack. Uh, I'm going to call you Kai if that's okay. All right. Get that thumb off the back. Going in. Gum goes in. Garbage. All right. Here we go. Back number eight. We're on the floor. Preston Hanna. Bill Fahey. Bobby Gritch. Dwight Evans, that's a nice car. Dwight Evans, great career. Lonnie Smith, another great career. A greater. Glenn Hubbard, your game piece. Oh, you got two game pieces. Wow, weren't you lucky? 1981, you would have been, oof, you would have been happy. Light of blue, that's a nice card. I'm telling you, as a kid, if I got two game pieces in my pack, man, I would have been happy. Dwayne Ward, a nice career there. All right, not bad, not too bad there. I know you have another pack coming up, so see if we get something, another bigger Hall of Fame in there or something for your rookie card. One of the famous rookie cards, Kirk Gibson, Tim Raines, Harold Baines. Let's hope they're in this box somewhere. I'm hoping they show up at least once. That would be pretty cool if we could send that home with somebody. All right, uh, we're moving on to pack number nine. And pack number nine is, let me get my list. Oh, here it is. This is Kirk M. All right, Kirk M. Another Patreon member. All right, Kirk. Kirk's a big uh, Rockies fan, but uh, I'm not going to see any Rockies and tops 81. So we'll see what, uh, see what we get for you. Are you. Kirk, let me know. Are you always a Rockies fan? I don't know what your age is, but is that somebody team you grew up with or... If you're older, did you have a team before the Rockies? Just curious. I'd like to know who you're rooting for before the Rockies. Like I said, unless you grew up rooting for them, so that, that would be kind of cool too. Okay, let's get through your pack here. Again, this is pack number nine. George Foster, nice card. Another part of that big red machine, Dave Kingman. Big power hitter in his day, 400 plus home runs. Came pretty close to 500. Jim Sunberg. Career, Padres, on Hassey. Oh, this uh, tops or this is uh, who was on this one? Oh, Boddicker, Mike Boddicker. This was a pretty good card back in the day. Boddicker had a pretty solid career. Cubs, Dick Davis. All righty, so no uh, major hits in that one, Kirk. But I think you're, I don't think you're done for the night if I remember correct. Um, so it might have another shot. At something else. But in the meantime, move on to pack number 10, and that will bring us to the second column. So um, give me a little a second here to bring this box back down. And I will slide out the second row. And if you remember correct, you're going to have the box turned sideways. Let me get 
this over here. This is the second row is right here. Turn it to there we go. All right. Okay. Turn this. All right. Slid it out nicely. So that'll be our. Start with our tenth pack and get this box up back up top. There we go. Oop, one more slide out. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Okay. Let's get to this. Pack number 10, there you are. All right. Here are the cards. Once again, I'm going to split them up. And we will break them this way. Okay, pack number 10. This is... It's like Chris L. Okay, Chris L. There we go. I hope this is stuck to the other team bags. Pack 10 is Chris L. All right, Chris. Good luck. This is your pack number 10. And roll through. Do, 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 do. And just a reminder, I will do the giveaway at the end of the break. I'm going to pause the video, and I will jump back on and do the the, uh, the randomizer. Random all the team names. Everybody bought in once. Uh, to give away that 2019 Bowman box. You can see it down there in the back. Okay, here we go. Again, this is pack number 10 for Chris L. Rick Roden. Career in the 80s there. Let's see here. Mike Flanagan is our game piece. And Ripley. Alright. Let me get on the phone here. Mike Torres. All right, Tool, all right, no major hits in that one for you, Chris L., but some nice vintage 81 Tops cards for you coming home. So, get them off to you. And I just want to remind everyone, if you guys have been part of my breaks before, you'll know this. Um, I've only been doing this for a little over a month, but, you know, I like to participate in breaks myself, other channels, and I love the thrill of buying into some of these breaks and watching someone open the pack, so I enjoy it myself, and I understand the dynamic of sometimes you get a hit and sometimes you don't. So with these breaks, a friend of mine the other day brought up comparing it kind of to like those scratch-off games, you know, like the lottery scratch-off games. Um, you know, you pay a dollar or whatever it is, a couple dollars for some of them, and sometimes you get something, sometimes you don't. So if you're doing it strictly for the money, I guess, you know, hey, that's that's up to you, and that's fine, but I could be a little, a little tough doing breaks like that because you're not always going to get a, uh, you know, a big hit. But doing it for the fun, here's a nice card, Pedro Guerrero, a big, big time player in the '80s. That was a big sought after card. His rookie card is, I think, '79, if I remember correct. Um, but yeah, if you're doing it for the fun of it, oh, I didn't announce who this is, by the way. I'm sorry, I apologize. Let me stop. Oh, stop on Mike Schmidt anyway. That's kind of good. And this is going to Adam R. I apologize, Adam. This is uh, pack number 11, going to Adam R. Get your team bag, put it in front of the camera. Here you are, looks like it. All right, there you go, Adam. There you are, buddy. Adam R, pack 11, thank you, Adam. And kind of been going through the pack already, and we stopped in the Mike Schmidt, so that's cool. There you go, nice Hall of Fame right there. Piece. And uh, I guess my point is that I love this card. I love that picture from the 80 World Series. Tug McGraw, the last out. Slapping his, his glove down on his thigh. Yeah, that was a great, iconic picture right there. And uh, I 
I get it. So my point is when I send these cards out, when I send these packs back, back and if you didn't get like a hit, like a major hit or something, or, you know, I'm going to make it worth your while. I mean, I don't charge a lot for these packs as it is, but for these breaks, but, um, and I'm, you know, I'm doing that giveaway for you, but I understand and I'll, I'll make it worth your while. I like to send a few cards your way, maybe a pack of something else just to kind of even it out a little bit, give you something to open. I get it. So I like to try to make sure that when you do receive a pack from me or a box from me after a break, you know that you're not going to be disappointed. Um, even if you can get a hit during that break. So just something to keep in mind. Jonathan H., you're back up for pack number 12, which is right here. Get into it. What's going on here? I got something. Oh, one of the team bags here fell. Get that up there. Okay. Sorry about that. Jonathan H., here you go. Some of these packs open nice than others. I'm a little bit more stuck. This one opened really easy, which is nice. All right. Pack, it goes over here, and the gum goes in the garbage. All right, Jonathan, what do we got for you here, buddy? Butch Hobson, George Voikovic, Ed Ott, Mike Davis, Tom Paquette, Scott McGregor, Bill Travers, Jerry White, Oops, there's your game piece, and there's your Butch Hobson. I'm going to tell you, this pack seems a little short. What is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this pack is a little short. I think there's 15 cards per pack. I think you were short on that, Jonathan. All right, I'll tell you what. I will make that up to you. Um, hmm. I'll figure something out, but definitely that wasn't, that's, that's unusual, that, like, that, I do remember that happening as a kid, sometimes cards didn't have all the right number, of, um, proper number of cards in them, but, uh, it was like half a pack, so, and these are all untampered, so, it wasn't like it was open and cards were taken out, but, hmm, that was a little disappointing there, but what are you going to do? I'll, I'll make it up for you, I promise. I, I'm thinking of it as I go along here, what I'm going to do for you. I have some other um, packs of 81. Um, I think I'll just throw an extra pack, pack in for you, okay? I won't open it. I'll just put it in put it in, and send that to you, okay? That should do it. it they're sealed packs. Um, it, it's actually from another BBC uh, 81 Tops, what I did. Oh, nice card. Dave Winfield. That's beautiful. Player card. Not his all-star card, so it's a little bit more of a valuable card. A little off-center, top-bottom, but it's in good shape. Really good color. Corners are perfect. You see the back? Yep, back is really good looking. No watermarks or any kind of scratches, so that's a nice looking card for you. Oh, and who is this for? Boy, am I falling behind here. I apologize, guys. This is James S. James S. This is your pack. Pack number 13. Alright, sorry about that James. So that's day one fill is yours. Among the others that we kind of started going through, but one feels the big hit so far in this pack. Um, that's the game piece. Bergie Jenkins, that's another really nice card. That's really well centered too. Sweet looking card there. Pretty good pack. Pretty good pack. Didn't have the big, big hits, but it's a nice, uh, nice looking pack there. Quite okay. Let me get that in your team bag, which is right here. So, Jonathan, I'll definitely get you a pack. I have, like I said, I broke open my own 81 Tops. It was BBC authenticated just to um, kind of have packs ready. Um, my Patreon members will at some point probably receive some of those packs, so I'll send you one of those. Make up for that half pack. I should really reach out to. I mean, not that anything tops can do anything about it, but I should definitely let maybe the BBC know about that. And if somebody wants to email him, Jonathan, if you want to email him, let him know. Obviously, we have it on video, but that pack literally had half half the amount of cards that's supposed to have. So I know there's nothing they can do about it, 
and maybe BBC will send you a pack or something, or I can reach out to him too. Here we go, pack 14. This is going out to Kevin C. This is actually a combined Kevin and Gavin C. So this is your pack right here. So we will crack this open and see if we can get you Rookie or Henderson or something like that. We got an Orion tonight, which is cool. Let's see what else we got. Hall of Famers, right? Looking for some Hall of Famers and Rookies. Pack, and let me get the gum off for you. There we go. And come into the garden. All right. Here we go. Kevin Gavin, this is your pack. Roy Howell, Dave Ford, John Castino, Matt Alexander, very happy. Glenn Hubbard, Jeff Jones, your game piece. Joff Zahn, Dave Frost, Steve Nicosia, Atlanta Braves team card. Ken Brett, George's brother. Mike Heath, that's a cool card. Remember Mike Heath's card. Bob Boone, great catcher. This is the dad of Yankee manager Aaron Boone. And Bruce Benedict. So that is your pack, guys. Thank you very much. Like I said, this will go. I'll send this off to you. And maybe a little something extra. We'll get take care of you. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you coming in on the break. Some of those cards brought back some memories for you, Kevin. At least the look of the cards. I remembered some of those cards. All right, moving on here. We are on to pack 15. And coming up on the halfway point. Pack 15 is going to... Oh, let me get my list organized here. It looks like this one is... Stacked up here. Oh, it's Joseph B. Okay, Joseph B. There you go, Joseph. This is your pack. I think you have another one after this, too. I believe you might. But, um, okay, this is yours. We'll see what we got for you. If you're looking for that Tim Raines. be nice to get a Tim Raines or Harold Baines. Um, you know, no, no guarantees. Heck, there's no guarantees in life, let alone in a Topps Wax box. <laughs> but... See what we can get. All right. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Alright. Dave Kingman. Tommy Her. Had a good career in the 80s, Tommy Her. He was kind of a sort of card in the 80s. He had a Tommy Her card. On the floor. I'm trying to think when his rookie year was. I think that was also part of the 79, I think it was. Around there, wise Chicago Cubs team card, Craig Nettles. That's a cool card, and Mary Mendoza. So, no Hall of Famers, Joseph, but solid players in there, especially some Tommy Her, Craig Nettles. Names from the past all had not Hall of Fame careers, but very good careers. Both part of world championship teams. Greg Nettles on those 77, 78 teams for the Yankees. Tommy Hearn, I think, was part of the Cardinals World Series. What was it, 82? Was it 82? I think it was 82, right? Yeah. Pretty good with my World Series, but sometimes they slip my mind. I was, maybe I'm a year off or... Okay. Get that pack on its table here and we get the gum there's a gum there it is gum goes into the garbage on the over there boy it sounds like glass hitting the floor when I missed the garbage good lord who would put that gum in their mouth not me you don't want that gum from 1981 oh names 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 don't get mad at me granny pack 16 is granny's Mary M Mary M She's chasing Donnie Baseball's granny. She's the channel's granny. How about that, Mary? You'll be the official granny of the Chasing Donnie Baseball channel, okay? Pack 16. We're honored to have you. 
Mary's a very kind woman. Sends me some very nice emails. Very nice emails. Very inspirational, so I appreciate that, Mary. Very nice woman. There's a Phillies nice team card from 81. That's a really nice card. Tim Norris. Charlie Huff. Nice card. Jim Cott. Danny Martinez. There's a Minnesota Twins team card. Mm, I think that was it, right? Yep, okay. All right, not the, not the greatest pack. Mary, for your first, it was first or second pack, can't remember now. But I know you have, a, yeah, I think this is your second pack, I believe, but you have a bunch of packs, so I don't think every one of them is gonna be a winner. You had those Hall of Famers earlier, that's right. Your earlier pack was really nice. So, I'm gonna try to get some in your next pack coming up. All right, that was pack 16, so we're gonna go into pack 17. Let me get the list, and that will be going to Dalton M. Dalton M, I believe Dalton, I think you're new to our channel. So I wanna thank you for participating, buying in. Here is your pack, pack 17. I'm trying to do my best to save the packs. Some of them are really hard to, to open, so I want to make sure that I don't rip them as much as I'm folding them over a little bit so the crease stays. I think once they get wide, if you open them too much, if that makes sense, if you pull them apart too hard, they've been kind of creased for so long that they, it rips easier, so I'm going to try to keep them folded, I think, when I send them to you guys. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about when you get them. I don't know what you're going to do with them, like if you want to lay them out or spread them out or something. Um whatever but I'm just giving you the heads up nice that's our second Mike Schmidt tonight I really like this card I mean he's not doing much in it but you just see him standing there at third kind of pointing out what the what the play is coming what we're to be playing how many outs there are whatever he's, he's talking about but what a hitter Mike Schmidt what a power hitter Steve Carlton is a cool card Steve Stone is our victory leaders there you go Hall of Famer Caldwell, Don Robinson, Mickey Hatcher, Luis Salazar, Adios Sosa, Mark Clear, there we go. That's it, right? Kenzie, yeah, Steve Swisher. That's um, Nick's dad, Nick Swisher's dad. There we go. So that's cool. That was a cool card. I mean, it wasn't anything special as far as, you know, fame and all that, but I mean, I think it's always cool finding modern day player father cards Griffey senior cards and things like that um, those are always fun to find alright let me slide this packs over a little bit give me one second I just want to slide some of these packs over so I have some room to open the rest of the packs because we're about halfway through and it's starting to get it a little bit piled up. All right, that'll be good. Okay, like I said, we are now on pack 18. This is our last pack of the second row. This is going to James S. James S., thank you very much. Here's your pack. Good luck. Let's see if we can get you. Stuck. This one's a little more stuck. All right, what do we got here? I recognize that card right away, that Dickie Fawn card. I've many packs in my day. I've never seen that Dickie Fawn staring back at me. <laughs> okay. Get the gum off the back. Well, you know what? Let me see here. I don't want to rip the card. Boy, this gum is really nasty looking. I would never eat this gum. You know what? Let's go through the pack. I'll get to that. When I get to it, I'll leave that down here. It's... Dan Ford, so it's not like it's a Hall of Famer, but we'll leave it down there for now. And I'll go through the rest of the pack. That one is sticking. I might not be able to save that card. I'm going to try. Larry Milborn, Dave Cash, Milt May, Dennis Littlejohn, Larry Bradford, oh, there's our game piece, Buddy Solomon, Burt Hooten, and his Tigers Future Stars, Again, most of those future star cards from 81, you're not going to recognize any of the names. Didn't really have a big career, but um, 
you know, we're looking for the Tim Raines of Fernando Venezuela. And the future star, I'm going to try to get this off here without ripping, but yeah, I don't think this is, this is not going to be a saleable card. Well, maybe you can, yeah, maybe, nah. It's got a little, yeah, it's got residue on it. I'll send you the card. I mean, it is it is what it is, but I'll, uh, I'll make sure. What, oh, it's not like glass hitting the floor? But uh, I'll make that up for you, James. Don't worry about it. These packs. Okay, so we got that. Put that away for you. Like I said, this, these are old packs, so what are you going to do? They haven't been opened. I guess you can kind of tell they've never been opened when you have gum sticking like that. It's kind of a, a, a positive knowing that you're getting <laughs> a real pack when you... And they're stuck like that. Okay. Let me get that over here. All right, James. Okay, so let's get through. Next pack's gonna go to Robert N. But let me get the get the cards out. Bring this down, nice and slow. Okay, patience, and I will get these out. Okay. Opens up, and here we go. This is right here. This is the third row. So we got that slides right out nicely. And ignore that. That was just some cardboard. That was the actual. Um, just a piece of random cardboard. I know some of you are just absolutely devastated that the box is ripped but it is what it is i don't save a lot of the old boxes i have a few of them from some of the other boxes i opened but this one i just didn't save because i need to get these cards doing a break like this kind of take too long if i wanted to save the box and get the cards out so don't worry about it don't worry about it all right here we are and as usual i split these up so it's I can reach them. There we go. Let me get rid of some of these game pieces that I had. Put those in the box. Okay. All right. There we go. Now let's get into pack 19. And that will be Robert N. As I mentioned, Robert N. This is for you. All right. Let's see what we got, Robert. The 1981 Tops. Been looking forward to opening this for a while, you guys. Appreciate you buying in and appreciate those watching. We had a um, nice Nolan Ryan hit before. That was a beautiful card. All right, Bruce Suter, Mike Norris, Omar Marino, Lance Parrish. Nice card. Lance Parrish was a Big time player. Here we go. Paul Molitor. That's a nice Hall of Famer right there. A terrific hitter, Paul Molitor was. Wow. Someone told, I think when he retired, there was um, you know, ESPN or MLB Network. Somebody had a stat that Paul Molitor, if you follow his career, you know, he had a lot of injuries. Uh, Bruce Hurst, that was a pretty good card back in the day. A lot of injuries. And they said that uh, I might be a little bit off, but something along the lines of that was a nice pack, Robert, with that Paul Molitor, that he missed about a cumulative, like, two and a half years of a, of a season, two and a, half, two and a half seasons worth due to injury. And, you know, if you average in, you know, say 200 hits, right, it's not out of the realm of possibility because Paul Molitor finished with, I don't know what it was, 3,700. I mean, he was way up there in hits. And they're saying how, if you imagine if he... He had at least like two of those years where he was hitting, and he averaged 200 hits. I mean, he'd be over 4,000. So, just shows you the difference, right? Just being injured and not being injured, and what these guys can accomplish when they're on the field. That's how good he was, though. Definitely an underrated. Definitely underrated. A lot of people don't put Paul Molitor in the category. Same thing with Bill Buckner, who just recently passed away, unfortunately. Um, this is pack number 20. Going to Terry D. Terry D. It's like, uh, get this over here for you. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, Bill Buckner had so many hits. Like, next to Pete Rose or something. You know, had the most hits in the 70s and 80s or something. Something along those lines. He was in the top, top two or three. 
most hits in those decades, so it just shows you how incredible that guy was. Paul Mahler could have finished with 4,000 hits. That's something to, to think about. Okay, I gotta tell you, that gum, it, when it hits the ground, I mean, it sounds like glass breaking. Good Lord, I wouldn't put that in my mouth. Dusty Baker, imagine you can crack, crack your teeth if you try to chew that. There's Steve Swisher again. It's so funny, I mean, they say growing up opening these packs is like Steve Swisher. He probably saw his card a thousand times, and at the time really didn't mean much because Nick Swisher wasn't even alive probably then yet. There's 1980 NL Championship Philly card. Those are nice cards. Almost like, oh, this is a cool card. Look at this. Terry D. This is definitely like a hit here. Tom Seaver, for sure. I mean, that, look at that. It's really nice center, too. Top, bottom, left, and right. See the back of it real quick. That's a beautiful card. Look at those numbers, man. Wow. How dominant he was. Just look at all those wins. The ERA. I mean, the ERA is consistently in the, the low twos. Not even, like, upper twos. Low twos. Wow. Finish with it. That's just incredible. Just incredible. And if you listen to my last break, uh, if you watch my last break, I should say, uh, actually not my last one. I think it was Saturday. Saturday I told the story um, of my Tom Seaver story. I had a chance, my meeting of him. And anyway, yeah, if you get a chance, definitely. You know, what, let me put this in plastic for you right away. It's kind of a good, uh, a big hit here for you. So if you get that in. A, I think I'll put it in the top loader here with a plastic plastic on it. Um, yeah, I have a nice Tom Seaver story. Um, but you just got to check it out on my... It was a Saturday break. The two, it was the Series 2, uh, two hobby break. I, we did a two hobby box break. And yeah, I had a chance to, uh, from my job at the time, actually interview Tom Seaver. And it's a pretty cool story. So definitely recommend... Checking that um, that video out if you get a chance. Watch that break. And it was this past Saturday, Series 2. Two box hobby break. Um, cool story. One of my best memories, meeting Tom Seaver. Okay. There we go. I think Tom Seaver, too, if I remember, he was the... I think he had the highest... Vote percentage, right? When he got into the Hall of Fame, um, until Jeter, right? If I remember that correct, if someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I think before Jeter, I think Tom Seaver had the most, the highest percentage vote of getting into the Hall of Fame first ballot. And uh, I've got your Tom Seaver card here too, Terry. I'll keep that over here on the side. All right, Pack Twenty One. Oh, we're doing Adam B here. Get your team bag. Adam B. Yeah, I think then Jeter came along. Jeter got a higher percentage than Tom Seaver. There you go, Adam B. Is that right? No, not, not uh. Yeah, Derek Jeter, right? Oh boy, I'm tired. No, yeah, can't be Derek Jeter. When did Derek Jeter retire? Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind, guys. Anyway, Adam B. And it doesn't matter because Mariano. Um, yeah, it was Derek Jeter. Mariano shattered that. You can't do better than what Mariano did, which was unanimous. So, it doesn't matter if you were 99.9%, .9%, and you're 100%, you can't get better than that. To think about that, to get every baseball writer, and if you follow kind of the Hall of Fame votes every year, especially, you know, especially if you have a favorite player or something, I mean, there's never been a guarantee. There's never been a unanimous vote. But there's always like one or two writers, for whatever reason, doesn't matter how great the player was, won't give that player a vote, which is just crazy to me. I don't know how that works, but, um, and I know it didn't until Mariano came along. I wonder who might be the next unanimous. I think there'll ever be another unanimous vote. Leave me, leave me below if you think there will be. I don't know. That's tough. Like, of today's player. Why? Well, you know what? Well, um, maybe Trout, right? I think Trout is, um, let's make sure nothing was sticking here. Now, these are really nice cards, actually. 
All right, Adam B. No major hits there, buddy. But definitely, that's really nice. This is probably the best um, pack so far as far as every single card was really nice in there. Like mint, almost. So that's that's nice. Do something with those commons. But uh, yeah, so I, I, I wonder if Mike Trout would be the next unanimous vote. I bet you he won't be, though. That just shows you how hard it is, you know? I mean, maybe there's a new, maybe Mariano set a new trend. Maybe the new the new writers coming along won't play that, that game that the older writers did where they won't, there's always a guy, one or two guys that wouldn't vote for someone just out of, I don't know, principle or I'm not sure why they did it. But think, think about it for a minute. Think about Kirk M. Here you go, buddy. Another pack for you. Um, think about the great, some of the greatest players of all time, right? And Mariano was the first one to ever get unanimous vote for the Hall of Fame. How crazy is that? Like, what, I mean, what guy sat there and said, nah, Mickey Mantle, you know, I'm not going to get unanimous votes. I mean, he's not going to get my vote. Like, what? Like, who? I mean, come on. This is, it's just crazy. Lou Pinella. All right, this is for you, Kirk. Baby Lopes. Yeah, yeah, it's Mike Trout. Guys like, um, you know, Clay Bellinger and stuff, they have a long way to go, but, you know, ELH, like Clayton Kershaw. Hey, right, see ya. He's first ballot, right? Let's think. Who's close to retiring that's going to get, um, get first ballot? Let's think about that. Uh, I'm probably missing somebody, but I have to just think as I'm doing this. Of course, you know, there's great players out there. And then that'll hit me in a minute or two, but there's always um, there's some of the great ones, though, right? They're close to retirement. That'll no doubt get first ballot. I don't know. I'll have to think about that for a second. And while I think about it, let me get to pack 23. Which is Daniel B again. Daniel B. Let me get this team bag out for you. Alright, here we go. There you go, Daniel. Okay, so we just packs over here. This is pack 23. We'll get this going for you. And reminder, after the last pack, pack 36. I'm going to pause the video, I'll set my laptop up, and quickly do the list randomizer um, program to get give away that 2019 Bowman um, set. So be sure to stay through the end of this, see if you're going to take that Bowman box home with you. Um, that would be sweet. That's, gonna, that's a really nice box. I mean, one autograph per, Got some chrome in there. Okay. Mike Scott, nice card. Mike Scott was a beast for a while there. Man, he was a great player. Great pitcher. What he did to the Mets was legendary. Uh, Ricky Henderson. That's a beautiful stolen base leader. It's a second year, too. 81, so that's a nice card. Vita Blue. Alright, Mark Martinez. That is it for you. Alright. Yep, let's make sure nothing's sticking here. There we go, okay. Daniel B, that's for you. It's going home to you. Okay. Alrighty, and let's go over to pack 24, which is second here. Get your team up here. These last few packs here are jammed up. Okay, here we go. We got Mary M again. There's Granny. Chase and Donnie Baseballs. Own Granny. Pack 24. So here you go, Mary. A couple, some few nice cards for you tonight so far, Hall of Famers. Let's see if we can add on to that for you. By the way, I think I lost my light on the, uh, my camera here, so I apologize. I'll bring these cards maybe a little bit closer, um, but I'm not sure what happened to the light. 
doesn't seem to want to go back on, so sorry about that. We have a few more packs to go, and of course, that has to happen, but it is what it is, right? So what I'll do is maybe I'll just get these up a little bit closer in the different light here. How's that? A little bit better? All right. Go through these. There we have a soda. Straighten these out a little bit. Okay. Up Forge. We have a game piece. Let's go down here. Rick Miller. Hey Scott. Green. Hello. Uh, there we go. There's a nice car. Richard Jackson, Mike Schmidt, and Rod Scurry. And that's it for you there in this pack. Nice pack there. Schmidt, Richard Jackson is a cool card. Just to love League Leader cards. We used to collect them to League Leaders. When I was little, I used to think, wow, that guy's like, that's how I learned about these guys, how good they were. If they were a league leader, I was like, wow, they must be, like, great players. And sometimes, like, my older brother at the time would point out, you know, some of the players on there weren't all-time greats. They just had a good year or something, and to me, they were just great players. If you're a league leader, Nate C, that was, like, that would be cool. As a kid, I thought that would be so cool if I was on the league leader card, baseball card. Okay. All right, Nate, see, let's see what we got for you. We are wrapping up this box break. Coming to the end here. We got that. Finish up this third row. We got one more row after this, so getting down to it. Getting down to the end here. All right, Bob Welsh. All right, there's the glass breaking, which is the gum. Don Sutton. Jeff Burrows. Well, Dave. Bumbo Rivera, Johnny Oates. Remember that card, Johnny Oates. Another 80 championship. That's George Brett, of course. Dotson, Dick Tidro. That's a legendary, legendary card. Burt Campanaris. And Bob Welsh. So. No halls on there for you, Nate. Hall of Famers, but but nice cards. Like I said. Some vintage 81 cards on that in that pack. I don't know how old you are, Nate. Well, if you were around during the 81 set when that came out, if you were a kid or adult or whatever, or not even around, not even born yet, but what kind of memories you have of that. Ready? This is tougher to open trying to save every pack this one's a little tougher but I might have saved it we'll see we'll see afterwards alrighty oh sorry this is let me get tell them who the pack is for apologize guys All right this is pack 26 going to Dustin now Dustin L, another pack for you. Let's see what we got here. Okay. We got good shape. There we go. Nick Foster. Rick Langford. Ian. Tug McGraw. Cool card. That last out for the 80s. 80 Philly uh, championship team. The year before that. That was a hot card back in 81. Joe Rudy, Willis, Ray Turner. Tug McGraw's a nice card. Tug McGraw being the father of country superstar Tim McGraw. Had a daughter in law, Faith Evans. Okay. 
We are on to pack 27. This is the last pack of row three. And it's going to... Here we go. Daniel B. Daniel B again. Here we go, Daniel. Let's get you pack 27. All squared away here. gum. Save the wrapper, drop the gum. I've said that 27 times tonight. Dropping the gum. Or glass, I should call it glass. Let's do it. Okay, Daniel, here's your pack. As you can see, the light went back on. I can't make out, make heads or tails with this camera I'm using. Sometimes the light's on, sometimes it's off. Ron Gidry, that's a cool card. Really nice card. Gidry was just a stud for the Yankees. Cy Young Award winner. That's 78. Should have been a two-time. Should have probably won an 85, too. I think Britt Saberhagen got it. Well, at least if you're a Yankee fan, you felt that way. He had some incredible year in 85. Kind of like... The way, if you're a Yankee fan or a Manly fan, you feel like Manly got slated by um, should have won two MVPs. He gave one year to Roger Clemens. Oh, they're stuck together, sorry. Uh, I don't know. Eh, I can make that argument every video that a pitcher should never win both the Cy and the MVP if, if you have a player who has an incredible offensive year like Manley did. You know, if you have players that didn't have a great year, you know, it'd be kind of like, oh, wasn't really anybody that stood out. I get it. You want to give it to a pitcher, that's fine. Like, I think Willie Hernandez won it too. I think it was 85 or something. Or 84. He had a dominant year, but I don't know. I, I just, I find it hard. Sorry for the arm, guys. Sorry, I find it hard for um, pitchers to win the MVP awards when you have a player that had an incredible offensive year like Manley did. But what are you going to do? We move on. Life goes on. Okay, last row. Bum, 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 bum. Row four makes its grand entrance up in your grill. I got the box. There it is. Okay. The box was sticking to my table. My break table. Alrighty. We are done with you, box. Serve us well. And now you go on to the break floor. Hold your ears, this might be a little loud. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I should. Should I save that? No, wait a minute, I'll throw it down. Okay, just put it in a box over there. All right, where are we at here? Now, I have all the packs here. Let me get the rows broken up. Come on over here. Here we go, all right. Okay, where are we at here? 28. 9, 32. Let me get my teams organized here. I think we're up to what? 28? Right? We're up to pack 28 or 29. Yeah, 28. Okay, I got it. Here we are. 28 and 29. I got it. All right. Dustin L. Pack 28. Okay. This pack. One of the last row right here. And let's see what we got for you, bud. And we're going to try to these rows real fast. Oh, I see a Carlton. Steve Carlton right on top. That's nice. Take that. Okay. Steve Carlton, there you go. Nice card. It's got a little, little dust on it there. I think a couple brushes there with your hand might get that 
completely off. Possibly not. There is an old pack. It was on top, so. But when you get them, you can see what you do with them. Still a Hall of Famer nonetheless. Gang Clay. Dale Murphy. I mentioned before. I think I did. Is this the first time we got him? Definitely, he's my second favorite player to collect growing up. Next to um, Bob Mattingly. He still is, actually. I still love Dale Murphy cards. I think they're a thousand percent underrated. I think he's a Hall of Famer. I think he'll one day get in, um, but I think he should have gotten in a lot sooner. The guy was just such a great player. Great player. He two-time MVP, I believe, too. Like, he's just definitely, definitely underrated. And he's one of those players, very outspoken, of course, the PED era. You know, people said, oh, he's bitter. He spoke out a lot about it as a retired player, but I don't know how you call a guy bitter. He just... He's pretty much was speaking the truth that here's pack 29. Daniel B again. I love Daniel. That, um, you know, he, he spoke out. I think Schmidt, Mike Schmidt spoke out too. Really against the PEDs and these players who essentially cheated why they shouldn't get in the hall. And, um, you know, they all make, they make great arguments. I mean, Schmidt had a Hall of Fame career. But a guy like Dale Murphy, you know, you think about it, you know, uh, I mean, I don't know Dale Murphy, so, but it doesn't seem like a type that was, you know, taking any type of, certainly in the 80s, like a PED or a steroid or anything like that. He seemed pretty clean, clean cut type of guy, just played to his natural ability. So I think a guy like that, when he got injured, same thing with Mattingly, you know, I bet you there were these quick solutions if they just wanted to, you know, inject something in their back, um... You know, some sort of a PED type steroid. I'm sure that could have been their cure-all, right? Maybe they would have played longer. But I think they really just wanted to play the game right, play it legit. And they retired when their bodies told them it was over. You know, whereas these other players, when their bodies told them it was over, or it was getting close to being over, they decided to take, you know, some of the illegal substances and it prolonged their careers. Not only prolong them, but just put their careers over the moon. I mean, they put up numbers that probably no one's going to come close to again. You know, you got you to gotta think of Barry Bonds, you know, and those, as, an, as that perfect example. I mean, that guy was having a whole thing career anyway, Barry Bonds, right? If you look at his numbers, pack 30. Here we go, Andrew M. All right, buddy, this is going to you. Got your own pack, so let's see what we got for you. Hope we get a nice hit for you. Still looking for that Tim Raines. I'd really like to hit a Tim Raines before the end of the night. I don't know if we're going to get it, but we got a few packs to go. Let's see if we can, we can pull it off. Would be nice. Would be nice. Get that gum off. There we go. All right. Gum is so loud. I'm going to stop dropping the gum on the floor for now. Until it falls off like glass. All right, what do we got here, Andrew? But anyway, Dale Murphy made some great points. You can look up some of his quotes over the years, interviews he's done, recent years, you know. I mean, he wasn't bitter, if you ask me. He was just speaking the truth. And guys like him who played it hard, played the game hard and played it fair, you know, and they put up incredible numbers doing it. Like I said, with this, the body they were given, so it's hard not to think these guys are a little upset when they see some of these guys, and especially the money they're getting. You know, they're basically being rewarded for for cheating. They were, you know. I just want to make sure nothing was sticking there, Andrew, for you. But all right, Andrew, this is your pack. I'm going to send it off to you. I'm sure this is your first 1981 pack you ever got, right? If it is, congratulations. Enjoy them. Um, didn't get any big hits on that for you, but... Very cool, nonetheless. These are cool. It's a cool pack of cards. Get that off to you. Put them in plastics for you. You can sleeve them up and get them to your house. Whatever you want to do to them, they're yours. All right. Get that off to you. Where's the plastic? Oh, there it is. Okay. Some of them might even take the plastic off yet. Oh, well, you know what? I'll just put them to the side. I don't waste your time taking the plastic off. They're nice and safe in the pack. All right, that was pack 30, 30, right? Yep, so we're going to pack 31. And that will be Marion. There's Granny. Like I said, Granny got about 
four or five packs, if I count it right. So, I think this is your fourth or fifth pack. I don't remember, Granny, but we definitely got a few nice hits tonight, especially earlier on. A few Hall of Famers you send them your way, so that's cool. I'm happy for you. Definitely happy for you. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Here we go. Go through this for you. Okay. Mario Soto, Team Tennis, Pat Putnam, the Story, your Game Piece. John Waffen, <laughs> Mario Guerrero, Terry Augustine. There it is, okay. No uh, major hits there, Mary. Sorry, Granny. Not in that one, but we'll take care of you. I'll get these cards off to you, and we'll take care of you. I promise. Some of these over here. Here we Just make room for these cards. There we go. Don't want to lose any of them. Okay. And we're on the pack 32, which is Daniel B again. Daniel, you got a bunch of packs tonight too, so let's keep it going for you. Have a big pack of cards going your way. And then mail these out. Vintage 81 tops right out of the pack. Tug McGraw right on top. That's cool. Like I said, that was a really wanted card. 1981. But they're coming off that World Series. That Phillies World Series. He was a real hero at, during that series. So, okay. Let's get through this for you there. Daniel McGraw, Bob Welsh, Andrew Dawson. There you go. Andre Dawson. Hall of Famer. Beautiful looking card. Beautiful looking card. Dave Winfield, another one. Look at that. A little off center, but it's really nice. Nice corners. Good looking card. Nice. This is a nice little pack for you there, Daniel. Tony Oates. Game piece. Very nice pack. Tom Brookins. Lee Garber. I'm glad you got these. Hits here. Pretty cool. Steve Wojcicic is like, whatever. Tug McGraw. All right. Pack 32. It was a pretty good pack for you there. I like that pack. A couple Hall of Famers. Can't beat that. Get that off over here. All righty. Coming up to it. Pack 33. Nate C. It's Nate, it's your pack again, buddy. Just a few left. And then we're going to get into our, I'll pause it. And then we're going to get into our... Giveaway, a 2019 Bowman box. So, stay tuned. Coming right up. Just a couple more packs to go. And we're going to get to that break. And then we're going to get to that giveaway. After the break. There we go. Okay. Alright, here we go, Nate. This is you. Nate C. Nate C. Game piece. Looks like we might have a pack of commons here. Good shape, but I think it's going to be. Oh, there's purple out of them. There you go. Nice card. Beautiful card. Really good shape. Beautiful corners. Beautiful size. There you go. Oh, that's cool. That's a good way to wrap that pack up for you. I'm glad I got something in there for you. Yep. All right, Nate. Now we're going home to you with your other packs. And we move on to pack 34, and that is Adam R. Adam R, pack 34. Here we go, Adam. Let's see what else we can get for you tonight. And so it looks like we got a Dale Murphy around the top. All right, that's cool. A little faded, but I think I really think that before you put that card away, I'll put it in plastic for you and I'll do it too. But I won't touch it too much. But I think some of these top cards, if you just give them a little 
the wave with your, your finger, a lot of that stuff will just come right off. I mean, you're not going to get a PSA 10 out of it, but it'll, it'll, it'll definitely take a lot of that, I don't know what you want to call it, dust, or it's kind of like dust that's stuck on it. I guess that's the best way to take it. It's not like sticky or anything like that. It's not like, it doesn't feel like it's glued on. It just feels like it's like dust that's been on it for, since 1981, <laughs> which is what it has because these are, these have not been opened, these packs, so that's a cool card at Dale Murphy, man. I think that's the second or third time I hit it tonight. I... I don't have that card, believe it or not, for my 81. How crazy is that? I just realized I don't have that card. Um, so I'm going to have to do some hunting on my own. All right, two more packs. Pack 35. This is Kid B again. Kide B, excuse me. I don't know if it's Kide or Kid. We're going to have to figure that out. I'm hoping that you leave a comment. Let me know what it is. I just want to make sure I am saying it correctly for you. Thank you very much for buying into the break. Here is your, I think it's your second pack. Second or third. I think it's your second pack. All right, nice little start there. Jack Morris, it's very nice. Get the gum off the back. Okay, let's finish the pack. Here we go, all right. Jack Morris, Steve Carlton, boom. Back to back, nice. Ronnie Scott, Steve Garvey, cool all-star card. Rich Dower, Jim Clancy. Man, this feels like a pack that I would've definitely opened in 1981. It just has that feel. It's like all the cards in there. Every one of them. Ooh, nice Boston Red Sox, 81. Kind of recognize all the players. Willie Randolph. Yeah, this is a fun pack. Bo Diaz. This is my kind of pack. It really is. I mean, you didn't get the major hit in it, but that's my kind of pack. All right. One more pack to go. And it is for David C. David C. What we got for you, David? Let's see if we can pull. We got one more chance here for Tim Raines. A little disappointed we didn't hit Tim Raines in this box. I thought we really would have hit him at least once. At least once. A little disappointed in that. And the Kirk Gibson. So, a little, little surprised considering this is a authenticated box. A little surprised we didn't get those hits, but what are you going to do? I mean, it was like that in 81 too, right? When you you bought a bunch of packs, you didn't always get the cards you wanted, so this, this gum is really sticking to the back card. Uh, you know what, I'll get to it when I get to it. It's not, in the, it's not a Hall of Fame or anything like that, it's not a big player, so. But it's I might not be able to salvage that card. I'm going to send it to you, but I might not be able to get the gum off without. George Foster is a cool card. And Landrow, Dave Kingman, there you go. Huge home run hitter. King Garber. Bud Harrelson, or a coach, and player. Beat Vojkovic. I love this card. He's just like, I just don't care. He just doesn't care. Beat Vojkovic, folks, doesn't care. Right, that was the last card. So this is the Bill Castro card. It has the gum on it. I'm going to try to get that off for you. All right, that wasn't bad. Actually, it was not bad at all. It's not a good-looking card, but I got the gum off. I didn't rip the paper. But it definitely has gum stain on it. So, not much you can do about it, like I said. We'll get this pack off to you, though, David. Your other stuff. And, uh, don't worry, I'll hook you up. I'll hook you up. Don't you worry when I send these, these packs off. All right, listen, folks, that's the end of the box break. Um, thank you very much. We got, uh, got some nice Hall of Famers in there. Uh, Manol Ryan is probably the biggest hit tonight. You know, that was a really nice 81 card, but I uh, didn't get the main rookies we're looking for. I do have another one we'll do down the road in 81. Um, but in the meantime, let me go get my computer set up so we can do the break, the giveaway, I should say, of this 2019 Bowman. I'm going to give it away. I'll be back in just a second. All right, guys, welcome back to Chase and Donnie Baseball. This is the giveaway for the Topps 81 Wax Box Break. This is, we're giving away, though, the... A 2019 Topps Bowman Hobby Box, factory sealed. All right, it's right over there. Here's the ram.org. Um, I'm going to do this five times, okay? Five times, so bear with me. I uh, I was playing around with it before just to make sure that it worked. But the list you see here just has everybody's name on it. This is not the winning list. This is just uh, the random order of everybody for that bought into the break, okay? So... 
I'm gonna do this five times. It says you've done it five times because I was practicing just to make sure it worked. So I guess when it's finished, it's gonna say 10 times, but I'm doing it five times starting now, okay? So let's, let's see where we're at after five. So one, and two, three, four, and the last one, the first name up here after this time being randomized is the winner of that Bowman box. Here we go. Winner is Adam R. Adam R, you are the winner. Adam R, congratulations, Adam. You are the winner of that Bowman Hobby 2019 box. So congratulations, buddy. I'll get that out to you with your packs of cards. And listen, everybody, thank you again for participating in, the, in this break. I had a lot of fun. I had a few good uh, hits there. I'll get those cards out to you, uh, maybe with a couple little extra cards uh, that I like to throw in. So thanks again. Please stay tuned for some upcoming breaks. I'll be posting some videos. Uh, my Patreon members, I will give you first access again to all those breaks. So stay tuned to your Patreon page. And see below, guys, if you want any of this information I'm talking about, Patreon or uh, about my breaks, uh, email me, mail me, stuff like that. So thanks again. You guys have a great evening, and we'll see you soon. Peace.